yo 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 another day another dollar up on this roof just doing some uh, operational inspections got this uh, RPS air handler then these two uh, pretty big condensers So it's a split system tied in with a uh, good sized uh, air handler right here. Put some exhaust fans over here, but yeah. This air handler is pretty good sized. You see this is where the uh, two condensers tie in two circuits per condenser so we have four circuits on this air handler we got uh, TXVs sets and the filter dryers oh yeah and a unicorn. We have water on the roof. Yay. It's inside the, uh, one of the condensers. You have uh, compressors two, four, six, one, three, five. Then you have condenser fan motors and VFDs for the other condenser fan motors. I'll show you. Yeah, that air handler right there, that thing's at least the size of a school bus and probably taller than one. It's pretty pretty good size. Yeah, it's not too often you gotta use a ladder to get to the top of a condenser. This is the control side of this uh, big, big old air handler. You can see she's got, uh, she's got some juice going to her. Got freaking doors everywhere. Door, 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 door. This is the economizers. Then you got a couple more doors down there. There's an exhaust fan. You can tell. This thing's even, uh, this a humidifier. She's pretty good size. Next to that one makes this one over here look tiny. Like I said, it's just an operational inspection, so, you know, it's nothing crazy. If I find something interesting, I'll, uh, I'll bring you back. So each one of these condensers is 100 tons. So that makes this a 200 ton air handler.
Yeah, she's pretty big. I've seen houses smaller than this. This is inside this 200 ton air handler. You can see it's a, uh, it's pretty good sized in here. Let's go in. Yeah. It's got a fan array for the uh, return fan. Or sorry, outdoor air. Disc tech controls. Evaporator coil. I literally went through where a filter was. Outdoor air economizer. Ugh. Again, this humidimi humidifier. And I'm pretty sure this is the supply blower, which uh, I don't think I'll be able to even open. I guess I could try and be stupid and give it a shot. So this has got a fan array for the supply as well. Of course, because I have the door open, it's pulling all the... Uh, condensation off of this is the uh, supply fan array and this is where the the motors are going to be I say this thing's at least 12, 12 plus feet tall, and probably, I don't know, 70 feet long. This is on that Daikin air handler. Well, there goes the door, which I'll show you. Let's see how big this thing is. It's. pretty long so this is 68 tons this is the uh, return fan it's got a pretty good sized blower on it it's moving a whole lot faster than the frame rate there's the uh, return So uh, it's pulling in from the building and shooting it in through the coil. It's not uh, pulling outside air, which it's no surprise. It's warmer. 
what we have here. A light, how about it? And it actually works. Let's see on the other side. When these doors work, they're cool, but when they don't, giant pain in the rear end. Oh, God, that one doesn't want to open. It's obviously the back side. I'm gonna probably assume this is a supply blower or something. Oh, it's got a UV light. Uh, with Daikin, this is almost always the condenser, condenser fan VFDs. Yep, condenser fan VFDs. It's going to be where your controls are. You get all your blower and all that stuff's going to be in here. I might turn it off and just check it out. So here's the blowers. Controls cabinet, which you've all seen before. Let's just pop doors here. There we go. It's obviously going to be the uh, supply fan VFD. It's got a door switch too. These belts feel a bit tight. Uh, you got your coils over here. Come on, baby. Come back. It's like going fishing. Okay. Evap coils. They're dirty, but I mean, not the end of the world dirty. Here's some UV bulbs. Good old filters. This thing could use a wood a cleaning drain flushed out, so they might get mad at me because it's off, but uh, I think it's time to get to work. Kind of curious what this one is. Let's find out. Let's see if we got a door on this side. Oh, we do. Two of them. Oh, yeah. Ah. 
Ah, a reheat coil. That's what I look like too. You know, big old reheat coil. There's the uh, supply duct. I'm wondering if I can wash this out with a hose. Okay, time to put the phone down.